Hello and welcome to Unit 6 of English 130 Literature Composition here at Post University. Um, before we get started on the unit overview, I want to give some special announcements. First and foremost, I want you to be aware that the Unit 8 response, once we get there, you are only required to do one pair response and it is due by Friday instead of Saturday, um, excuse me, Sunday of that week. Um, and a registration reminder as well, if you're getting ready for next term, um, the next term begins really soon. It's going to come up um, very, very soon. And it's also time to get ready. In order to review your schedule on the student portal, go to www.post.edu and click on the student login. You can call or email your academic success counselor uh, to ensure that you are on track for graduation. Also, check the virtual bookstore to review your book and ECM information. And reach out to financial aid to ensure that your aid is complete and all documents are received. Okay, so now let's get into Unit 6 of English 130, Literature Composition. Um, unit 6 is all about symbolism. And symbol symbolism is how the author takes us beyond the story. What symbolism is likely to be is... Um, something that stands out, it's a recurring object that stands out, or it could be a character, situation, or event that stands for something. It stands out m mainly in the story, but it's, it, overall it stands for something much more beyond the book or the story. Um, in conjunction with the deeper meaning of literature, we will also be taking a closer look at the grown-up comic books that we like to call graphic fiction Many of the films we enjoy, such as The Watchmen, Wanted, Snowpiercer, and the very popular Walking Dead um, television series, all began as animated or graphic novels. This genre is powerful, and it has so much symbolism in it. Um, who knew that these comic books, like we loved as children, could would become today's best-selling films and novels? Um, by the end of this unit, you will be able to synthesize research, uh, text support, and personal analyses into a cohesive essay, provide a personal connection to the device of symbolism, defend an argument, cite research in APA format, and demonstrate critical thinking skills when responding to class discussions. Some activities for Unit 6 include completing the position paper, um, read, reviewing, and engaging with the required readings and resources, participating in weekly discussion forums, and also reviewing symbolism as a literary device. For this week's required readings, we'll start with the topic one, um, the, the literature sources for this unit. You are required to read The Gift of the Mad Guy by O. Henry. And if you click on the blue link, it does bring you to, um, to the story, an online version of the story. And you are also to read um, something called Everyday Use, and that is by Alice Walker, who is her most infamous work um, is The Color Purple. So these two are the required readings for this week. Now, topic two for um, part of your resources is what symbolism is. So, your job is to take a moment and review this online resource. This, there's a link here for Writing 101, which talks about what is symbolism and symbolism definitions and plenty of examples from literature. It does take about five minutes to read this, and it is very interesting and interesting definitely breaks down what symbolism is and gives plenty of examples. Um, there is also a there is also a video here that talks about symbolism and film. If you take a look at that, you could definitely find out more examples of symbolism and how it plays a major role in filmmaking. Some supplemental resources there is um, there is a link here to scholastic.com. It's a guide to using graphic novels with children and teens. Um, this is a definitely this is definitely an excellent resource to uh, give you like a little guide of how important it is to critically read um, and the wor specific word choice skills that can be learned from graphic novels. 
Um, and also, if you ever want to, like, look into graphic fiction a little bit more, because you don't know a whole lot about it, there's this amazing TED Talk here by Michael Cheney. Um, it's called How to Read a Graphic Novel. It's about 17 minutes and 24 seconds. The video is here. Please take a few moments to um, watch that. It definitely broaden your horizons. And it also is like a lot of fun in it. Um, teaches you a lot about the graphic novel. So for Unit 6, um, the symbolisms of your life. Now the Unit 6 discussion board, uh, excuse me, lost control of my mouse there for a second. <laughs> so the Unit 6 discussion board response is all about the symbol symbols of your life. For your initial response, you must, again, read the required readings by Henry and Walker. And Henry and Walker provide stories that include symbols that are life-changing for the protagonist. In two or more well-paragraphed, um, well, excuse me, well-developed paragraphs, answer the following prompts. So again, your initial response must be at least two or more um, paragraphs. The prompts are as follows. One, choose a symbol from either the gift of Magi or everyday use and discuss what significance the symbol had to you as a reader. An example of this would be the combs Jim gave to Della in a discussion about a previous gift that you received or gave. Use text examples in this section. So you must use um, text, text examples from either story that you pick to support your response. And also in, to include in this initial response, I would say this would be paragraph one and this could be paragraph two, but again, you could go beyond that. Paragraph two, you would say, if someone were to write your life story, what symbol would be present and why? And how does this symbol represent you? You can attach a picture of your symbol. An example of this would be a baby blanket from your childhood or a baseball from your first game. Okay. Um, I, I, I think this is like one of my favorite discussion board responses from English 130 because it gives you guys the best opportunity to express yourselves and talk about you and I get to know you a little bit more. And also it's a very creative and it gets you um, thinking about your life too. So once you um, get your initial response completed by Wednesday night at 11.59 p.m., you are required to complete two uh, pair responses by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And in your response, I would suggest you be sure to respond to their choice of symbols in their lives. Tell them what your symbol is and um, how does it connect to theirs. And also maybe you want to reflect a little bit about what you read with their uh, about their symbols. Okay, so at the end of Unit 6... Your position paper is due. Now, this position paper should take you two weeks. It should have taken you two weeks at this point. Um, this will be due at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday night. A video for the position paper has been posted onto my announcements, and it will be posted again very soon. So for your heads up, in Unit 7, you will be investigating point of view and how and why the author decides to write from particular perspectives. This might be something you have considered before, but it is a very powerful literary device. You will also create a story from a different angle. It's time to get your creative juices flowing. I will tell you from right now that when we did our initial response for Unit 1, our little creative writing response you all were very creative and you had a lot of fun with that and I look forward to reading some more of your creative writing pieces in unit 7